Y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and today I'm going to be wrapping up the reading rush. So, um, I know I said in my first reading vlog that I posted, I think like a week ago, that I was planning on doing three reading vlogs for the reading rush. I ended up not happening. Also, sorry for the very discombobulated bed behind me. I didn't have time to make it today, and I didn't feel like making it. Anyway, a lot has happened since I last talked to y'all in my reading vlog. I'm just gonna lead off with the reason why I didn't make any more vlogs is because I had a COVID scare. I was accidentally in contact with someone in pro close proximity with someone who has it and I didn't know and I've been very cautious in who I am near during this whole pandemic because I don't know how someone like me with my autoimmune disorder could be affected by the virus. I was basically like freaking out for the past couple of days until I got tested on Sunday and it was negative um, but it was like a fast test so hopefully that was accurate. I was basically freaking out for the past couple days. <laughs> I didn't think that I had it but um, I think I developed a cold of some sort with all this rain and the storm going on um, in Texas right now, it's pretty bad. Our power went out maybe like on and off like 10 times already today and it's not even noon. So uh, I've developed a little bit of a cold. I developed a cough and um, I didn't have any fever. So I didn't think that I had it. I didn't have it actually, test negative. So that's a good thing, but um, I didn't feel good. I wasn't feeling my best. So I didn't end up reading a lot. I tried to film this a couple days ago and I felt like I just needed to redo it. I think the last time I read a book was uh, probably like Thursday of last week, um, which is weird for me. I always like read a little bit every day, but I was kind of freaking out and not feeling my best self. I also want to let y'all know, I don't know if I told y'all, but I've deleted my Twitter account. Like it doesn't exist anymore. Like I deleted it. Just adding more stress to my life and making my depression spike more than it needs to be spiked. <laughs> so I just deleted my account. So if you can't find me on there, don't worry, I didn't block you or anything. I just don't have it anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. And uh, I also removed my personal Instagram from my phone, um, from the app. Um, so I only have my book account, which is way better for my mental health than my personal one. If you need to get in contact with me at all, I literally only have one social media at this point, which is my bookstagram. So I've also been very horrible at um, watching people's videos in the past week. I have over 80 videos in my watch later playlist in the past couple of days, uh, which is pretty bad for me. Um, I normally watch every video that is posted in one day that day. So I didn't really, do the challenges because of everything that was going on. I didn't restrict myself to these challenges. I basically just read what I wanted to read. And that was only three and a half books for last week. I think y'all saw in my first vlog, I read Mari's Mistake by Ruby Dixon. And that is an Ice Home book, I believe number 11 or 12, I don't remember. This one I gave three stars. It is definitely not my favorite in the series. It's not bad per se. It's just, I was kind of very bored <laughs> reading this. First 30% like we already knew about because the first 30% take place at the same time as the first book in the Ice Home series. And so we basically already knew what happened. This book just wasn't exciting to me. I didn't feel the good lovey-dovey feelings. Like it just wasn't my cup of tea for the series, unfortunately. I got this one off of Kindle Unlimited. I've been trying to read the Beautiful Bastard series by Christina Lauren, and my hold for the audiobook for Beautiful Bombshell came in in the library, and so I listened to that. It is fairly short. I think the audiobook was maybe like two and a half hours, and this is number 2.5 in the series, and this is the like bachelor party for the man from the first book, Bennett. It's just really fun. I gave it four stars. Also, um, talked about this in like the video footage I tried to film earlier um, but through me reading this book I realized that I have a signed copy which I had no idea I got this book and this book this is number 3.5 at half price books um, a couple months ago turns out they're signed by Christina Lauren both of them Let's see it says 
to Megan. I'm not Megan though, so it's still cool to have like signed books by them, but my name's not Megan. It would have been better if maybe it was just like signed by them, but um, that's okay. I'm very grateful. I'm very excited. This is now three books that I bought at half price books that were signed and I didn't know they were signed when I bought them. I bought a version of Twilight that I never had and it was signed by Stephanie Meyer and I got that off of High Press Books for like seven dollars and these were both three bucks I'm pretty sure so uh I think Half Price Books needs to check on whether their books are signed or not because uh I think you're probably getting robbed but whatever yeah so I gave that book four stars I ended up reading Neighborly by Katrina Jackson which I also gave four stars this one was really really fun this is a short like novella kind of i think it's only maybe like a hundred something pages where there's a married couple and they are renting out the house next door to them and they rent it out to this couple who is dating and the guy in the dating couple is trying to become a professional i think like fighter or like mma fighter i don't remember turns out the two women in the couples have an attraction to each other and so it's like a polyamorous relationship kind of i found it really fun really enjoyable really uh steamy really liked it had a bunch of fun reading this yeah i really recommend this one and then i ended up reading 50 percent of barbarian's touch by ruby dixon i just wanted to read something that would make me happy um i've been rereading my favorite ice planet barbarian books um recently beck's book is my favorite book um, but I read that a couple weeks ago, so I thought I would read Broken's Story. Broken's Story is where his love interest is deaf. I think I gave it three stars the first time that I read it, but I, I'm leaning more towards a four for my reread, so I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm going to talk about the two books that I'm currently reading. Last night, I started the audiobook for Neanderthal Seeks Human by Penny Reed, and I got this one off of Audible Escape. I've heard really, really, really great things about this one, and it's the first book in the Knitting in the City series, and I think it takes place in Chicago. I think each book in the series is about a different girl in this knitting group. I love knitting, so I'm... I'm really enjoying this one, but knitting isn't like a big thing because the girl who's in this group like doesn't actually knit. She's just in it to hang out with the girls and her name is Janie and Janie just got fired and broke up with her boyfriend, left her house all in the same day. On that day, she ends up coming in contact with Quinn, who is like a security guy in the building who helps her like escort her out of the building with all of her stuff that day. I've been really enjoying it because Janie is really quirky and funny. When she's nervous she likes to babble and like spew out random factoids which is like so funny and cute to me. So I've been really enjoying that. I think I'm like four hours into the 11 12 hour audiobook so I'm really enjoying this one and I can't wait to continue. And then I've read one chapter of Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is our Lovely Ladies live show pick for the month of July. And we're having our live show this Saturday, August 1st. So if you've read this book, be sure to hop on to, I believe it's on Ashley's channel, this Saturday at 7 Central Time. So uh, we'll be talking about this book. I'm one chapter in and I already have two tabs. I'm very excited to continue with this one. This is the second book in um, I think the Brown Sisters series. And the first one was Get a Life, Chloe Brown, which is my favorite book of 2020 so far. Very much excited to finish this. I'm loving Danny. I love Danny. So, yeah. So, when I wasn't reading, I was actually watching TV shows, which I haven't watched a TV show in forever. Normally, what my life is like is I'm either reading a book, listening to an audiobook, or watching a booktube video. I rarely watch TV anymore, but with me not feeling good, I never really read books when I'm not feeling that great. I decided to rewatch Avatar The Last Airbender, which was one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid. I watched that whole thing in less than a week and uh, I love it oh so very much. I love that show. I have CBS All Access, so I decided to start The Legend of Korra, which I've only ever watched season one. I've completed season one already, rewatching season one. And so I've started season two. And I think I remember why I didn't continue with the show. I found Korra very annoying in season two. Oh, very annoying in season two. I'm having, it, it's very difficult for me to want to watch this show because she's 
annoying me very much. <laughs> if you didn't know, The Legend of Korra is a spinoff to Avatar The Last Airbender, all about the next Avatar in the Avatar cycle. I'm finding season two very difficult for me to get through. I stopped season two. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna get back to it. But um, I went and my dad put on a show that we never watched before that we thought might be pretty cool. We started The Umbrella Academy and I watched all of season one in uh, two days, all 10 episodes in two days. <laughs> that show is really good if you like the umbrella academy dude why didn't you tell me to watch the umbrella academy i think season two comes out in just a couple of days so i'm very excited about that it's just like a tv show with like powers and stuff and it's really 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 cool um i really like it so yeah instead of listening to audiobooks for the past couple days or doing other stuff i've been listening to folklore by taylor swift i think my last reading vlog thing that i did for the reading rush like days one and two reading vlog that night at midnight taylor swift released her new album which i had no idea she was gonna do i've been listening to that non-stop my favorites so far which I think all of them are amazing i love this album very 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 much i love hoax i love cardigan i love betty <laughs> and um i love august i think those are my top four at the moment um but it's always changing <laughs> It's always changing. So um, I'm loving 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 her music. I love this album so very much I'm just listening to it while I'm reading and while I'm doing stuff in my room I've been packing some stuff because I'm moving back to my college town in a couple of weeks I bought merch from her for the first time because of this I think a merch for her was only on sale for one day if I'm not mistaken I bought a hard copy album a digital album a beautiful blue sweatshirt I'm so very excited for it but yeah I've been packing up my room and everything because I'm going to be moving soon which is very sad <laughs> let me know down below if you've read any of the books I talked about today or if you want to read them but anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye.